sing one of them old uh, courses that we heard at Livermore. Old John Brown used to sing his. People got the bowling side guy, mm -hmm. but uh, you got some. God gave us spirits and some. And, and just tell people how come you're so happy. You know they want to know how come you're so happy. I've got atheists saved, I'm brought to the Lord yeah. because they want to know what made me so happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One of us when I was just barely begun to get my education, mm -hmm. and I was over to my teacher's house. And her husband's atheist. She said he was. Yeah, I'm glad he was. And uh, he had an old Ford truck in there, and I'm talking about that Ford <coughs> truck. I'm talking about the things I did, places I've been, how the Lord brought me out of this and done that. Yeah. And he said, Gio, how can you be so happy? You, you hardly got an education. That's when I first started out. And he said, your <coughs> car is old. It's <coughs> evident in fact you're not making much money and all that. I said, well, that don't have nothing to do with happiness. Come on. My happiness comes from the Lord. Yeah. He got him a thank and he got saved. Well, now, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. His daddy-in-law and his daddy flew into that town just to see <laughs> him after that. Yeah. And I got to preach in our local church, which was pretty good to be size charismatic, about two or three hundred. Amen. Was there. It hold about four hundred. And uh they got to hear me minister and they were so happy. But it wasn't me, of course. It was the Lord. Amen. It was that happiness. Yeah. Uh, Lou's uh, voice isn't working right because the old enemy is trying to put something up on her. But you can testify. Give a testimony for us today. I love the Lord today. Thank God for being here. We put on several miles since we lived uh, where we Arizona. Uh, Arizona. <laughs> And, uh, up and, and down, uh, up and down, and every down. which way. And uh, I just thank God for all the safety and for keeping our keeping us safe yeah. on the road, keeping me safe, watching after all the other people on the road as well. And I just thank God for being here this morning. Amen. Amen. Yeah, not only this church is uh, an anniversary today, seven years. Yeah, that's completion. <clears throat> You're fixing to do something. Yes. Yeah. After seven days that the Lord had created, and then He started doing work. Yeah, well, the human. <laughs> so some work will be done. It also is my lose anniversary of 53 years. Oh, man. Hallelujah. <laughs> they didn't tell me, but I know something's up at Betty's house when we get done here. They're going to give us an anniversary dinner, I know for sure, because they got all kinds of stuff cooking over there. Amen. But what happens to most people? That about the time that God's going to bless you real good, there is a trial comes and you get down the muddy grunnies and Come on. Come on. just quit. Right. Yeah, let's don't quit. Amen. Thank God I never quit because I was too on far to quit. But uh, uh, a lot of people I know, I've been here, my Lord. <laughs> I've been going to Livermore since 1969, so you know how long I've been listening. Up and down, people up and down like yeah. a yo yo. You want to take your foot and kick them. Now, I have a couple of times. They thought I was shouting, but I wasn't. I <laughs> to kick them a little bit. Let them straighten up. Do the right trot. But this little, it's a song that come from a long time ago, and I just put a couple words to it, and I thought it would be pretty good for today. Never a traveler alone, I strip makes the journey by bearing a load. But one thing for certain, if you trust in the Lord, the end of the journey will bring sweet reward. Amen. Amen. So when you get weary and you want to quit, tired and discouraged, 
courage and no place to rest. Just lift up your eyes, cry, Lord, let me see. Not how it is, but the way it will be. Just think of how it's going to be. On the bank of a crystal sea, next door to Jesus, eternity. That's how it's going to be. So when you get buried and you want to quit, yeah. tarred and discouraged and no place to rest, hey. just lift up your voice, cry more than me, say, not how it is, but wait for me. Come on. Hey, hey, that hey. wonderful. We just look a little peace party. And the day right, uh, Paul Butterworth, that's my nephew, he had went, to, he's in the paint business, so the paint business he got in NASCAR, so he got in NASCAR, and he got him one of them passes where he goes around in a race car. Mm. <laughs> you know, a real race car. I mean, you're going, I think he said he got up to 172 mile an hour in Daytona. But what they told him, and what I think a Christian ought to do sometimes, he said, you got to think uh, 100 yards out there, 300 foot ahead of you, mm. or you will wreck if you don't. <laughs> because yeah. after you get going over 100 mile an hour, you can't re uh, your reflex won't work 50 foot in front of you. It's got to be way out there. You got to drive in yeah. case somebody stalled or something. So don't just get your eyes on this problem right here. Mm -hmm. Look on past Liverpool. Hey, my Lord. Look right on into what at the heavens or whatever it's got to do. The victory over whatever. If I get down there, that's all I'm moving. I'm moving in the name of Jesus. Amen. That devil's not going to get me. I don't belong to him. And when I die, I dare anybody say the devil come after me. I don't care if it's in a car wreck or some kind of bad disease or my wife shoots me. I'm going to say the Lord come after me. I don't belong to the devil. Amen. I belong to God. I'm a God servant for all these years. I'm going to be with God. He yeah. is my Savior. And I don't give that enemy any credit. Matter of fact, I don't even say his name. Amen. <laughs> and they're, they're just, uh, I say the enemy or the enemy. You know, but uh, we'll sing that other little course, get everybody singing it. Billy said it. People liked and most time people don't get with the cat because they don't know the words, you know. Yeah. Well, you're glad to be here, huh? You're happy that you're here. You're, you're so glad that God is your Savior. You're happy yes. that you don't have to worry no more. Amen. I think it was Brother Hinton said he worried so much about uh, 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 the dogs having rabies that bite you. Man, you had to go, you had to die usually. But then they come out with a a shot mm -hmm. that if a dog bought you had rabies, you could live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, oh, boy, he just relaxed. <laughs> well, I'm happy we got a Savior. We don't Amen. have to worry about it. He's a Savior from your finances. Yeah. Come on. Because there's nobody any lower on finances. When we go and start this living more church, Lou and I was living, living, on, living on soup. We had no meats. <laughs> we were down and out, no money. Yeah. Now we went to... Lord has been blessed us beyond measure. Amen. We're not driving no fancy car. If I had a zillion dollars, I wouldn't drive no fancy car. Yeah. But we have put thousands of dollars out helping other people. Oh, right something on. like 30000 last year in New Mexico. Isn't that something? That's more than I ever dreamed about making in a lifetime. Right. And, and I'm glad about that. And that's Amen. what we're going to sing about. Amen. I'm so glad and I'm so glad and I'm so glad. I'm so glad, and I'm so glad, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad, and I'm so glad, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad, and I'm so glad, and I'm so glad. Now you got the words, right? Okay. Let's say I'm so glad, and I'm so glad, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad, and I'm so glad, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad, and I'm so glad, and I'm so glad. Alright, we're glad that Brother Billy's gonna come and take over now. Thank you.